Javier, we had a really good game, uh, named Man of the Match. Um, pretty physical game. How, how, do you, that, uh, how did that play out with you guys and being able to neutralize their offense? Eh, Javier, tuvieron un buen partido hoy día. Eh, fuiste nombrado el, el hombre del partido. Eh, fue un partido muy físico también. ¿Cómo es que llevaron a cabo el partido para poderlo sacar adelante? ¿En español? Inglés? Como tú prefieras. Si ¿Te puedes en inglés? Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, first, uh, I want to thank God for the opportunity to make a score today. Um, what's very important. Um, ya, yeah, we know today the game yeah, was going to be a uh, hard. Everything know about the LA, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, it's a really good team. Uh, they can win the last two games. Um, we know that game must be really, really hard for for us. Uh, I'm really happy for all my teammates, for the team. Uh, we can we can give all the four, you know, um, get with the victory. That is more important now. Okay, other questions? Oh, if Jeremiah has got a mic. Uh, Freddie, uh, if you could walk us through the, the play that you made uh, leading up to the penalty where you controlled the ball, and then uh, what happened with you and Albert uh, leading up to the, the, the actual penalty? Um, it was a cross from, uh, if, if I remember clearly, it was a cross from uh, Alex. Um, when I wanted to see the ball, it was was right in front of my face, and I, I chested it, you know, to stop it, put it down, and I tried to go forward. But at the at the same time, I saw the the defender coming really hard, and I just waited for him to hit me, and I just went down. And luckily for us, it was a, a PK. And uh, what happened with Albert? Uh, I mean, this is soccer. Um, he wanted to score. He wanted to um, kick the PK, but at the same time, uh, I had the responsibility. You know, um, I scored the last PK in the previous match, so I believe that I had the confidence to take this one, and especially when when the game was uh, still one-one. And uh, that's it. Uh, it stayed there. We are professionals, and uh, I love uh, Albert. He's a great guy, and I believe that he's going to have many chances to score. So yeah. For now, we move on. Go Maz, then Jaime. Absolutely. Hey, Freddie, uh, can you talk about uh, what it does to your offense when Rodon and Morris are able to get wide and how that opens up the middle for you? Could you talk a little bit about that, please? Yes. Uh, um, they, they, I mean, they are very good players. They, they know. Um, how to attack the spaces, and uh, that's going to open uh, any def defense that we're going to play from now on. And of course, uh, I have the freedom to come back and uh, just be in that spot that they are open, opening for, for us, for Albert and for me, just to get the ball. And if we can, we have to turn and uh, play those balls to the space. Um, I remember one opportunity that I played through ball to Jordan. Uh, I wish that the, the field was a little wet, so that ball had more speed in front of him, and, and it would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. But yeah, uh, it's part of our identity, I believe so, when, when you have Jordan on one side and when you have uh, Christian in, on the other side, they, they are going to go all the, all the game, 90 minutes. They are going to go up and down. Hi, uh, Congratulations to both of you. Felicitaciones a los dos. Este, la pregunta es para los dos. The question is for both of you. How do you feel right now? ¿Cómo se sienten ustedes después de este triunfo tan necesitado del equipo? Yeah, I feel so excited. Uh, we need to, to get a win. Uh, I think this victory is going to be uh, more confident for all team. Um, yeah, um, I think this victory is going to help also for um, try to to be focused for, for the next game again, Leo. I feel good. I feel uh, like I need a Santo coffee. I'm going to go back home and <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Very happy for these three points. And uh, it's just uh, you know, a reminder to the whole team that we are good enough to win the games at home, no matter what. Uh, 
contento por la victoria. Eh, sabemos que esta victoria nos va a ayudar mucho para poder eh, mentalizarnos en lo que va a ser el partido del, de la próxima semana en León. Así que esta victoria fue, fue muy importante, la necesitamos porque veníamos de dos partidos que no nos venían dando los resultados en la liga. Así que este partido nos ayuda a afianzar y a nuevamente tomar la identidad que tenemos aquí en la, en la liga. ¿no? ¿Quieres que te diga la mía también? Uh, nos sentimos bien, me siento muy bien. Uh, creo que me merezco un café de santo. <risa> Voy a ir a la casa y a, a tomármelo y a disfrutar. Y es, es una, un buen uh, uh, llamado de atención para todos nosotros, que somos buenos y que necesitamos uh, seguir por el camino de la victoria en nuestra casa. Dos preguntas, dos idiomas. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Y señor López. Sí. Hugo López para el Siete Días. Este, pregunta para Javier Arriaga. Javier, este, en este año mundialista, que Sierra Rosando lo está haciendo muy bien en la Conca, en la Conca Champions, lo está, está goleando, está gustando. Y hoy, sobre todo, el triunfo importante. Y tú, como figura del partido, con este gol, con el profe Alfaro, que te está siguiendo y que seguramente estarás en el Mundial con él. Eh, ¿Cuál es tu confianza de ir al Mundial a Qatar, representando obviamente a Searo y, y a, a, a tu país, Ecuador? Um, so the question was, um, on this year of World Cup and, and this year where you guys are doing very well in the CONCACAF, uh, and now that you know that your, uh, the profe Alfaro, uh, the coach Alfaro has been following up your performances, what is your confidence that you're going to be able to be representing uh, the World Cup in Qatar, uh, somehow representing Seattle in some way? Bueno, creo que eh, este año es uno de los mayores eh, objetivos que me he puesto. Sé que este año es un año mundialista. Eh, la verdad que es un gran anhelo que tengo en mi corazón de poder estar en un mundial de fútbol. Y creo que es el sueño más grande de todo futbolista. Así que estoy trabajando. Sé que, que, que esto es paso a paso. Eh, tengo que esforzarme mucho este año para poder eh, estar ahí, estar, como digo yo, entre siempre los jugadores que, 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 que el profe está convocando y todo eso. Así que esto es trabajo. Yo creo que eso lo tomo como una responsa responsabilidad, pero a la misma vez también lo tomo como eh, eh, un reto para mí en este año, un objetivo claro, y eso me ayuda a estar siempre enfocado y a trabajar pensando en lo que se viene. ¿no? Um, uh, yes, this year is a very important year with the World Cup. It's uh, one of my biggest objectives is to be able to uh, um, to keep playing hard and to keep uh, uh, my effort hard so I can be uh, taken in consideration. I'm going to keep working and working, but I know that it's a step-by-step -step process. Uh, I have to put a lot of effort in to be able to, to achieve that, uh, to be there. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very big hope. But at the end, it's all about work, responsibility, And then having that objective as well helps to keep me motivated on, the, on each one of the games to achieve that. Go over to Mira Flores, go ahead. Gracias. Eh, felicitarlos a ambos por el triunfo. Eh, el Sanders antes de, hasta antes del triunfo del día de hoy, era un equipo casi con, eran dos Sanders, un equipo con dos identidades. En la CONCACAF ganaban todo y en el campeonato local no les iba bien. ¿Qué ha propiciado ese cambio de actitud en el triunfo de hoy? ¿Hubo una conversación con el entrenador? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué ha hecho que el equipo hoy dé un giro importante que pareciera va a marcar un, un nuevo rumbo en, eh, del equipo en, en el campeonato? Uh, so the question is, congrats for the win. Uh, before today, Sounders felt like a, a dual team where you had a very good performance on the uh, Champions League and not so well during the MLS. Uh, what is that thing that have changed? Did you have a conversation on the locker room with the coach that actually made that trend change today? A ver, no, no importa los resultados, las conversaciones con el entrenador siempre van a existir uh, semana tras semana para mejorar y para ver las cosas que, que no salieron tan bien. Pero era cuestión de tiempo. Salimos de una pretemporada muy rápida. Uh, era más cuestión del de entrenamiento físico, la parte colectiva, la parte técnica con las nuevas, uh, los nuevos jugadores que llegaron era, era de ajustarse y bueno, um, sabíamos de que 
Uh, los resultados no se dieron, pero no era momento de entrar en pánico. Uh, se dio vuelta a la página y a eso es lo que tenemos que prestar más atención. Estamos muy felices de, de la victoria. Estamos muy felices de que el grupo se está conectando poco a poco y esperemos seguir por ese camino. Uh, so the results doesn't, doesn't really matter. We always have conversations with the coach about the performance and what we need to do to improve. Uh, uh, and, and, and we knew that it was about of, uh, it was about time. It was about of putting more time into into training. We had actually a very short preseason, um, and there were many new players coming in, getting accustomed to our way of playing. Uh, there was also a physical aspect that we needed to continue to improve. So we knew that we didn't have to, we, we must not panic. Yeah, we, know, we knew that it was something that was going to happen organically. So now we turned the page and, and we are happy for this new victory and, and we believe that now we are in the, in the correct path and the correct trend. Okay, I know there are a couple in the room here. We'll come back to Jose beginning with you, but Matt will go upstairs to Zoom for the two questions you have there. Matt, go ahead. Cool. Uh, looks like three questions on Zoom for now. Uh, so we'll start with Felipe Maqueda. Thank you, Matt. Uh, felicidades a los dos por el partido que dieron ahora. Me gustaría saber, uh, bueno, Freddy, primero, yo creo que era justo que terminaras la jugada que iniciaste previa al penal, que la terminaras con un penal, y la verdad que, que me da gusto. Pero también uh, Javier ya había avisado que quería anotar gol eh, cuando estrellaste un remate en el poste. La pregunta para los dos es, uh, Javier, ¿tú te, tu trabajo principal es prevenir que los delanteros anoten gol y Freddy, tu trabajo principal es anotar goles. Cuando, cuando se anota un gol, Javier como defensa y tú, Freddy, como delantero, ¿La diferencia en el sentimiento es, es la misma o, o cómo sienten ustedes en la alegría cuando notan el gol? Bueno, siempre eh, digo, va a ser especial para un defensa poder marcar porque no tenemos la, bueno, no tengo la oportunidad de, de marcar goles toda la semana como la tiene Freddy o como la tienen los delanteros, ¿verdad? Y, y bueno, así que siempre que, que puedo anotar, la verdad que lo disfruto mucho. Trato de, 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 de disfrutar el momento porque, como vuelvo y repito, no tengo la oportunidad de anotar toda la, la, la semana. Pero sí, también es un trabajo que, que, que la verdad uno, uno hace. Yo al menos me pongo de, de, de objetivo siempre, primero defender obviamente, pero también aportar desde, de, desde un corne o de un... Eh, tiro a esquina, poder ir y poder anotar, porque en sí estamos para eso, ¿no? Eh, mi primer trabajo es defender, pero también tengo que ponerme el objetivo de que pues sé la importancia de que un gol como el del día de hoy también puede brindar los tres puntos al equipo. Así que, que, que eso es lo, lo, lo bonito, lo especial de, de bueno, pues cada jugador ponerse meta como esa, ¿no? Uh, dale. Okay. So the question was, congrats for both uh, uh, on the win today, Freddy. Uh, I believe that there was justice for you to actually kick off the PK. I mean, you generated it, so it was, it was good. And Javier, uh, it was great that you were able to, to score uh, the goal. And you already gave a heads up when you actually uh, hit that ball into the post. Uh, so Javier, your job is to prevent goals. And Freddy, your goal is to your, I'm sorry. Javier, your objective is to prevent goals. And Freddy, your objective is to score goals. Uh, do you feel different when you uh, um, get uh, goals scored based on the different roles that you play on the team? Uh, the, the answer for Javi, from Javi was, uh, uh, it's always special for a defender to score a goal. And uh, I enjoy every single opportunity that I have to be able to score a goal. But I do know that as a regular player, since I'm a, I'm a defender, I don't have chances to score goals every week. So I have to enjoy very much when that happens. Uh, but I also work very hard to keep doing what is my primary role, which is to defend. But I also understand that I need to take advantage of corners and opportunities like that to be able to score goals that are usually very important for the team because like today, it allowed us to uh, basically break a, break a tie. My answer is basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, the same. I'm enjoying <laughs> when I play, when I have the opportunity to score, because, I, I mean, obviously, um, I'm not going to be playing as many games as Javi. Uh, sí, yo también disfruto al máximo todas las oportunidades que tengo y todos los goles que hago, porque al, al, a comparación de Javi no juego los mismos, la cantidad de partidos que juega. Así que nada, feliz por, por el gol de hoy, por seguir jugando y por seguir ayudando al equipo. Matt, you got more? Yes, I was doing this translation. I will go next to Jada Evans. Thank you. Um, congratulations on the win. Javi, can you walk us through a little bit of your goal? It seemed like something that you guys had practiced uh, a lot, pra or sorry, trained in practice. Yeah. I think I, I got it. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo marcaste el gol si cerraste los ojos? <risa> También pregunto si es que es algo que venían practicando durante la semana. Honestly, I, I didn't know how to make a score. <risa> I was just the, you know, the moment just, I was focusing on the, on the, on the ball. When, you know, when the ball coming in to me, I just tried to, to help, you know, the ball, and, um, and yeah, obviously we, we practice this, 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 you know, play. this play, um, Dax is very good because, you know, we came, we came putting in on, on the game, all this play, um, I'm happy because play get today, no, um, we can thanks, score. Thanks, Alex, for the shoot. Uh, thank Alex for the shot also. <laughs> <laughs> Last one from Zoom. Uh, we'll go to Alonso Contreras. Thank you, man. Uh, felicitations, saludos por el gol, por la victoria también. Gracias. Uh, esa pregunta para Javier. Javier, después del primer gol, ¿cómo te sentiste en la responsabilidad de responder al equipo y bueno, sales con el gol uh, ganador? Bueno, creo que que siempre poder bueno, el recibir un gol tan tempranero como el que recibimos hoy eh, es duro porque tenemos que eh, comenzar a construir la victoria desde atrás, ¿verdad? Pero la verdad que hoy felicito al equipo porque se vio la madurez del equipo. Eh, pudimos reaccionar rápidamente, que eso también es una buena señal. Eh, siempre eh, digo que, que la madurez de un equipo se ve en los momentos difíciles, así que hoy comenzamos de, de un momento duro y pudimos sacarlo adelante. Así que contento por, por, por eso más que todo. Um, Javier, um, after the first goal, uh, what, what did you feel and what did you guys had to do to come, to come back from that situation? Um, the answer from Javier was, uh, such an early goal is always hard because you have to start building up from behind and, and you have to come back uh, very strongly. Uh, but, that, uh, but that takes a lot of maturity. So I believe that uh, the fact that we were able to come back so quick shows up uh, how we have matured as a team and how we are able to respond on those situations and still take a, take a positive result after a, a, a difficult start. That's it from Zoom. Any final question here to close us out? Okay, last one. Uh, you guys uh, were able to improve upon your performances over the last couple of uh, games. What is it uh, that's not reflected in the scoreline that, that you guys have done to improve and to change, uh, whether it's attitude or something on the training pitch that has allowed you to gain the results that you have? Um, as I said before, I, I believe that it was a matter of time. We knew that um, uh, we have very, very good uh, group of players here. And uh, the fact that we started the two games, losing those games, and uh, we needed to react. And that game against Leon gave us, you know, that plus that we needed. So the confidence is there. We start building from that game, and uh, we we saw that attitude today. We saw that energy today. Even when we started losing uh, after five minutes into the game, it was a big, big uh, step for the whole group. You know, to finish the first half winning two one. And uh, from now on, we believe that uh, uh, the next game is going to be even harder. 
but uh, we have the, the group of players to move on and uh, I believe in, in this uh, team and if we keep you know working hard and we keep you know bringing our talent uh, we know that uh, that there is going to be difficult games but we know that we can uh, make make uh, all all that the necessary steps to win the games and uh, now we're going to enjoy this game with these three points but uh, also our mind is in the next game against Leon, a uh, big opportunity for the organization, and uh, we are dreaming about being in that semi-final.